how to make a visual aid using Microsoft PowerPoint. In this video, we'll be going over finding and inserting images, adding borders to those images, and lastly, adding a video to the last slides. First, if you already have an image on your computer you wish to use, all you have to do is click the Insert tab and then go down and click on Pictures. However, if you do not have an image that you wish to use, you may Google one. In this video, I decided to Google filling a piping bag. Once you have chosen your desired picture, you'll just click on it. Then, in order to check the size, you must right click on it and open the image in a new tab. The bigger the size of the photo, the better. You want the picture to be large so that way when it is adjusted, it won't become blurry or pixelated. Remember when choosing an image, the words must be legible and the design simple. Now it's time to copy that image and put it on PowerPoint. So you'll right click the image and copy it. Then you'll go back to your PowerPoint and either right click and paste, or in this case, we're gonna use Control V to make the image appear. You will adjust the image accordingly. Now that we have gone over how to find and insert images, it's time to put a border on that picture. First, you need to make sure that your picture is already clicked, making sure that the bubbles are all the way around it. This will cause a picture tab to appear next to animations. You'll then click on that picture tab, and you'll see that borders pop up. You'll then click the down arrow next to the borders and choose your border style. Keep in mind, black borders with black pictures, no go. Same thing with white pictures and white borders. You want to make sure that your borders are opposite of what your picture are, but they're all consistent in the same color. Once the borders have been added to the pictures, it's time to add a video to the end of the PowerPoint. First, before doing that, we need to double check to make sure all our fonts are consistent. Uh-oh, there's one right here we missed. So we're going to highlight it and change its font. We are using 36. Once we've double checked and seen that everything is consistent, let's move on to those videos. If you already have a video saved you can use, you can click insert and then click on videos and browse your computer. However, if you don't have a video, you can go to YouTube. Keep in mind, all videos must be under a minute. 30 seconds is preferred. When you have found your video, you need to copy the URL at the top of the page by right-clicking and going to copy. Then go back to your PowerPoint and you're going to control V in this case into your text box. In this video we have gone over finding and inserting images, adding borders to those images, and putting a video in our slides. So some last parting advice is to make sure you have a blank slide before and after your slides.